Right, get your next video ready. It's just come on the news. If you want to come to England, all restrictions have been lifted. So there's no filling in forms, no passenger locator, nothing. You just come from the 18th. No um, proof you're vaccinated. Just all travel restrictions are cancelled to come to Britain. So you can just come, no problems. So you can do a video now. Yo guys, welcome along to today's video. We're here to tell you the latest COVID restrictions when travelling between Spain and the UK. So as you just heard, all travel restrictions travelling back to the UK are completely dropped. So that's whether you're unvaccinated, whether you've had one, two, three or 23 booster shots, it doesn't make a difference. <laughs> So the only place now where you'll find a little bit of difficulty is when you're travelling to Spain. So, if you're travelling to Spain, remember you still need to do the health control form. That form you don't need to do for the UK anymore, still needs to be done if you're travelling to Spain. So if you're double vaccinated, you do not need to take a test and you have to have been vaccinated within 270 days of arrival and before 14 days of arrival. So if you're travelling from the UK to Spain and you're not fully vaccinated but you have recovered from COVID-19 and have your recovery certificate within the last six months, you can also use that to come here as well. So travellers from the UK aged 12 to 17 can enter Spain by presenting documentation certifying that they have undertaken a COVID-19 PCR test. Okay, so antigen tests are not required for this age group. And that's within 72 hours of arrival. And travellers under 12 only have to do the passenger locator form. They don't have to worry about doing the tests or proof of being vaccinated or any of that stuff. They just need to do the form like everybody else. This is great news for Port Ventura and for a lot of you guys that want to come and travel here. We're really happy to hear that people can travel more freely back to the UK and the restrictions are also being loosened for travelling here to Spain. Now it's on Spain, isn't it? We're waiting for Spain to drop the rule of double vaccination requirement. We're waiting for Spain to do these kind of things, which it has to be soon now. The, all the Spanish MPs are calling for it. I think it's going to happen in the next couple of weeks. So we thought we'd tell you a little bit about the general vibe of the island right now. The weather's been crazy. This morning it was raining, storming down, and now it's really sunny. It's just like... Last night as well, I woke up at 7am because of the rain this morning, and my, 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 it was raining so much my roof was leaking. And we probably should tell the landlord about that. Yeah. The Port Ventura is not prepared for the rain, and it was just like some of the hardest rain I've ever seen. Mm. But, as we say, now it's sunny, so you really can't predict. So those are the travel restriction updates. Thank you so much for watching this video. Share it with everyone you know. If you want to know what Corelaho is like right now in March 2022, we're going to put a video on the screen here where we talk about the vibe of the island, what's going on with Carnival, and all the updates you need to know. Yep, yeah, and also, we recently went with one of our friends, Stuart, to a really nice restaurant that you need to know about. We made a video all about that. You can go and watch that right here. If you've had 23 vaccines, you need to take one COVID test. Right, let's if go. you've had one vaccine, you take 23 COVID tests within the last 23 days before your arrival. And 23 hours. <laughs> 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 okay.